Oh, he's going to follow him. If you just buy a boat, don't do that. Whatever you do. I got maybe 75 yards between me and the shoreline. And there's this massive, massive channel to the right of me. That, yeah, just don't, don't do that. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the St. Croix River. And normally, I don't have great success finding crappie on this river. Uh, but the last week, actually, uh, a couple days ago now, I ran into, uh, I was fishing for smallmouth, and I just happened to notice on side imaging some sort of, it wasn't a brush pile, it's some sort of concrete, I don't know if it's like a, a base of an old bridge or something, uh, but there were a pile of crappie on it. And I don't know how long these fish are gonna hold there. Uh, hopefully they're, they're just gonna hold there the rest of the summer, because then we can go catch them. So we're gonna, we're gonna run down, I'm gonna show you what they look like on side imaging, and then I'm gonna show you the crappie that I caught two or three days ago. So this tiny, whoops, it is super small. It is that little shadow right there. I don't know what it is, it's only about three or four feet tall, but it was holding crappie. So we're gonna circle back over it. There's some other rocks here too. But that is the, that's that structure that I was looking at. And it looks like, if you can tell, there's some little shadows around it. And those are definitely fish. I don't know if they're gonna be crappie. I don't know, I mean, we're on the river, so this could be, those could be anything really. There's a ton of different species in this river. All right, here we go. There are so many crappie down there right now. There he is. Just kind of, oh, we came out, dang it. Dang it. There's a massive school down there. It's an absolutely massive school of crappie, which this is the first time I've seen them schooled up this tight on this river. Typically, it's uh, they're pretty nomadic. So I'm very happy that they're schooled up this tight. There's probably some bait fish. Oh, there he is. Got him. Felt the tap. Oh my goodness, this is a nice one too. That's a <laughs> that is a nice fish. Oh wow, these are some nice crappie. Coming up on Fourth of July weekend here. That is a uh, that is a very nice Northern Wisconsin black crappie. Summertime fish too. Crazy. Let's put him on the bump board here. I can't believe I lucked into these. I was I was smallmouth fishing as I started the video here, and I just happened to be idling by, and I saw this little piece of. I don't even know if it's a brush pile. It looks more like concrete. Where's my bump board? And there, these crappie are just suspended right over the top of it. And there are a ton of them. Oh. oh, just lost my rod. Lost my bass fishing rod there. Thank goodness I hooked it. Well, I don't know where my bump board went, but I got one right here. Yeah, he is, uh, we're gonna do a rough estimate. That's about 11 and a half inch crappie. It's a solid, solid crappie for Northern Wisconsin. Oh, there he is. It's a little guy. That's a little guy compared to what we just caught. See you, buddy. Man, they are, they are loaded thick. I thought they were a bunch of gizzard chad when I first rolled by them in my side imaging. Because there's a lot of gizzard chad in this river. All right, so there they are. There's some bait fish mixed in, but that is that is the big school. Oh, there was a tap. Shoot. I'm just slow retrieving it back. The current's pushing the, that jig slowly back towards me, but this is kind of a... 
I think there's a little bit of a current break right around this point. That's probably why these fish are sitting here. Crappie don't normally want to fish river systems down south. They don't like sitting in the, in the currents. They'll sit on the seam maybe, but they really like those backwater edges, backwater eddies. Yeah, so there's that piece of cover. I, it looks like a, some sort of concrete pillar or, that fell down. Or, it's not a brush pile for sure. It's way too hard of a signal. There he is. That's a better one. Man, these are some healthy river crappie. Some healthy, healthy river crappie. Got the bump board out this time. After put this guy in the live wheel here, we'll talk through my setup. Oh my goodness. There we go, 10, 10 and a half. And that is a chunky 10 and a half inch fish. They're, they're feeding on some sort of bait fish. I don't know if it's shad, I don't know what it is. They're feeding on down there, but these are some healthy Wisconsin crappie. All right, well, I actually threw out most of my finesse rods because I was gonna go smallmouth fishing and try to do some pike fishing today or tonight. And this is the only crappie rod I had in the box six and a half foot casting rod. I only have four pound mono on this thing. It's a 1000 size PC Fun Viper X reel. And then I went with the, uh, this is an eighth ounce ACC crappie six jig. I gotta rehook that plastic. This is that crappie monster firefly. Seems like they, I was throwing a little bit of a bait fish pattern at them for whatever reason they didn't want it. Probably cause there's so many bait fish down there. They, they couldn't, I guess differentiate between that plastic and what bait fish is. So I just change it up a little bit, put a little creature bait going on. And that seems to be working. These fish are stacked tight on this brush pile right there. Stacked tight on that brush pile. I don't know why I call it a brush pile. It's not a brush pile. It's like a concrete block. And this dude is gonna run right into me. It's another healthy fish. Another healthy fish. Ooh, he's got a sore on there. Not so healthy. Looks like he got bit. Oh yeah, he definitely got bit. I can feel the scales go from actual scales to just skin. Throw him on the bump board. I'm gonna let him go. All these fish are just I guess I've been catching those lake fish that are eight to nine inches long, occasionally get in the 10 inch range, but that guy's almost, almost touching 11. He's 10 and three quarter, but I'm gonna let him go. See ya, buddy. Ooh, shot out of there. Oh, there he is. Hit it on the drop. Also, my line got real tight there. I mean, they're fat fish. But they are not big. All of a sudden, I got I caught three before I even started rolling, and uh, all of them are like 11 and a half. Maybe I caught all the big ones. I'll show you at the end here. But I got I got at least four in there over 11, which is pretty darn good for <laughs> a river system like this, this far north. Basically, anything over 11 inches, that's a that's a solid crappie up here you go down south that might be might not be i mean that's a solid eater but it's not really a considered a big crappie by any means well i might need to switch up the uh, plastic because the, the bite stopped i'm running it right through this is that big school right there I'll screenshot that for you get a better visual of that i mean i'm running it right through the middle of that school i'm getting a few nibbles but oh there he is Oh, that's a better one too. Unless he just ran with it. Nope, man, he ran quick. I wonder if, I've been seeing some bigger fish down there. I wonder if there's muskie on them. Cause that guy earlier was trolling for muskie. So I'm wondering if there's some muskie pushing these crappie around. There he is, got him that time. 
well, these are not the bigger ones. But I am happy we're catching crappie on the river. Something I don't get to do very often. All right, well, there we go. Some really healthy Wisconsin river crappie. Very surprised to catch these fish. I'm gonna flay these up tonight. Um, let me walk you through the setup one more time here. All right, six and a half foot ACC rod because it's, this is the only finesse rod I had. Uh, left in the boat, I had pretty much all casting setups because um, I was going for smallmouth today, but 1,000 size PC Fun Viper X reel, 1 8 ounce ACC crappie sticks jig with the Firefly, or no, this is the uppercut, not the Firefly, uppercut uh, chartreuse and black by Crappie Monster. And since you stuck through the full video, you can get 20% off Crappie Monster lures. Promo code DAVIS, D-A-V-I-S, all caps, get you 20% off. So appreciate you sticking through the whole video. I, I'm gonna come back to, tomorrow, I think, because uh, this is a really good, I don't know what it is. It's like some sort of cement block or an old, old bridge piling or something. And there's a ton of crappie on it. You know, that's why you gotta get really good at your electronics. You know, just put in the time, get used to seeing what you're trying to look at on side imaging and uh, scale down on side imaging. I think I only have it set at like 40 to 50 feet left and right. And you're gonna be able to see little stuff like this, this cement block or whatever it is, no more than maybe five feet long by six, seven feet wide. So it's not that big, but it held a ton of fish as you guys could see on the live scope. So I'm gonna get out of here because I think my window of being able to run on some calm waters closing very fast. A lot of these bigger yachts are going back to the marinas, so it's gonna get choppy in about the next 30 minutes here. So I'm gonna make a run. Appreciate you watching as always. If you got comments or questions, I'm coming out tomorrow, but in case I don't make it out tomorrow, if you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below. Otherwise you can message me, rod and reel setups, sonar setups, anything you want. Facebook or Instagram, you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. Appreciate you watching as always. Hopefully I'll make it out tomorrow and I don't have to work late. But if I don't, appreciate you watching. We'll see you.